guys, today we will talk about presentation skills and how to make a presentation effective. But why did we decide to talk about it? Presentations are used constantly in lessons, at business meetings, at the presentation of new product and so on. In our era of market economy, the companies are constantly producing new products and without a good presentation, your product simply won't be noticed or bought. So, so this skill is very important in our time. It will be useful both for students and corporate employees in any field. Microsoft PowerPoint. It is the most popular tool for creating a presentation. Although entirely digital, the output in PowerPoint functions like a traditional slides, allowing the presenter to display information on the screen. The slides may contain words, images, graphs, or even movies. They can be organized to flow from one point to the next, or to display key information at the appropriate times. Canva it is a platform where you can find many designs for your presentation. You can even create your own presentation with beautiful fonts and backgrounds on Canva. And what's really important is that it is for free. It also has various fonts and designs that can be used. Canva also has animated backgrounds that distinguish it from other services. Another interesting platform is Prezi. The feature of this website is that the presentation is created on one Canva. When showing such a presentation, the camera moves along this canvas. The work looks like a big map. Then objects increase and decrease at the distance. But only knowledge about the tools can help you with making a presentation. So let's talk about which presentation is effective one. The best PowerPoint presentation shouldn't be remembered. Instead, they should slide into the background and support you and the message you're trying to get across. What does stand out as a distraction is a bad PowerPoint presentation. Wherever it's a million lines of text, the joint flow, ugly photos or good design, it simply distracts you from the point you're trying to get across. We want to provide some tips for making best PowerPoint presentations. Tip number one. Structure your presentation well. A well-developed structure allows to make your information well perceived and remembered. You will be able to hold interest in attention of your audience and reach the goal of your presentation. So the ideal presentation should be consisted of introduction, the main part divided by two sections, and the conclusion. Tip number two. Don't overload the slide with text. Remember that presentation is only a background of your speech, so you don't need to put on the slide all the text you are going to tell. Write the title and highlight some main points to draw the audience's attention to them. Tip number 3. Use visual illustrations to support your message. In any presentation, the visual component is first of all important. You should use pictures, icons, diagrams, tables to visualize your ideas. It will help the audience to easily catch your message and fully understand the topic. Tip number 4. Keep your slides simple. Remember that less is more. A cluttered slide is distracting. It causes a confusion of the audience. Which part of the slide should they focus on? Should they pay attention to the presenter or read the slide? But a simple, well-appealed slide will engage your audience, keep them on track with your main points. Here is an example of simple slide that serves its purpose well. And here is an example of bad slides with overload design. So, that were the most important points you should consider while making a presentation. Let's repeat all the tips and practice. You will have 5 seconds to choose which slide is better. Let's go! Go. I hope you have chosen the right slide. So today we learned a lot of things. Let's remind the tips that we have discussed. First of all, the importance of presentation skills, tools for creating the presentations, and tips for successful presentation. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and good luck.